Hello, everyone. Welcome to Prepare Your Handshake Profile for the Virtual Career Expo that's coming up on October 13th. That's a Tuesday. No classes that day. I have pulled up my own profile. I made it 100% complete recently. All right. As you can see, I did put a, I did upload a professional headshot of myself from a couple years ago, but it's still very clean. It's a clear background as well. It's not too distracting. I'm wearing at least business casual attire. Um, if you are looking to find a great photo of yourself, please uh, look for at least these elements. A, cl a clear background, uh, you're looking at the camera, uh, you're at least smiling, so that way you're presentable, you give off uh, somewhat of a positive attitude, all right? And you're wearing at least uh, business casual clothing. Uh, for here, I added, uh, you're not gonna see this on your profile, of course, I added a bunch of majors, uh, mainly so I can see from the student perspective of uh, many degree programs here on campus. So uh, I just made up all these majors. Of course, you're probably only gonna have one major or at best two majors if you're dual majoring, but otherwise you will not see as many majors as here as me. Um, so my journey, I, I took this from my LinkedIn profile. You're gonna see that the Handshake profile is very similar to um, your LinkedIn profile, all right? We have one more person, okay. So I took a, a bio of myself um, about my hometown, where I graduated from, where I went to university, uh, my degrees that I earned through those two universities, and of course, some of the areas that I like to focus on. I say education, youth development, leadership, international relations, and social issues are some of my other focus areas. Your, your about you section, your journey uh, section about on your profile, it's gonna differ. Uh, you may say that you are a second year aerospace engineering student. You're looking for positions and propulsion uh, structures. You aspire to be a test engineer, a design engineer. It's gonna look different from profile to profile. Uh, make it your own, all right? At the, uh, uh, ultimately, I, I do encourage you all to reach out to your individual program manager within Career Services and ask them, uh, hello, uh, is it okay if you can look over my, my handshake profile? Uh, can you please uh, work on the wording? Is this uh, enough details? Is it too many details? Um, so that way you can get another uh, person's eyes, someone else to, to view your, your profile as well, just to make sure it's 100% as robust as it can be. All right, feel free to type in this to chat uh, on anything I've, I've talked about so far. I'm gonna give a few seconds for that. Nothing so far for the chat. Very good, very good. Let's move forward. As you can see here, my profile is 100% complete. If, you're no, if your handshake profile is not complete, it's gonna have different sections. It's gonna have different columns that's gonna say organizations, not complete, uh, work experience, volunteer experience, whatever it may be, it may not be complete yet. That's where Handshake is very useful. It actually uh, lets you know on when uh, or, or where you have to make your profile complete in order to make it a higher percentage, make it ultimately 100% complete, all right? And also, I do wanna, mentioned that usually if your profile is not complete, in addition to having this saying your organizations are missing, your work experience is missing, there's gonna be a big box that says upload your resume and then we'll build the rest of your profile from your resume. So I was able to do that. I uploaded a resume yesterday and then it pulled up at least eight different work experiences uh, maybe one or two different volunteer experiences and it built it for me. So these bullet points that you see right here, these are all from my resume, all right? So when I did that, when I built, uh, when I uploaded a resume at the top portion of this profile, it built the rest of my work and volunteer experiences. So that's another useful tool in case that maybe you don't want to build your handshake profile from scratch. Maybe you already have it, most of it, most of your, your work and volunteer experiences, um, the organizations, the leadership, they're on your resume. You just need to upload that resume and then allow Handshake to build your profile from your resume. All right, let's move forward. 
education section, that is pretty straightforward, I'll say. It's pulled from your student account through Campus Solutions. That's going to be updated every week. Um, and please stop me if I am moving too fast. I definitely don't want to uh, leave anybody behind. Um, and at the end of this, I will take questions as well. Your interest is also a section where we recommend for you to fill out. Uh, for example, I'll walk you through it. The job hunt. Are you, there's going to be five options for the drop down menu. Are you not looking for a job? Are you actively looking for one? Um, you're not looking for one because you already have one. Uh, you're not looking at all, but you're open to opportunities. And the last one, you're not looking for a job, but you're, you're, you're going to graduate school. All right. So there's going to be, please select the one that most applies to you. Uh, so for me, I'm not looking for a job because I already have a position uh, right now in career services. So I'm good. <clears throat> so, excuse me. In terms of job interests, all right, you could click either internship or part time. Um, there's going to be, there are originally four different options for you. Uh, I, I already clicked two of them, two out of the four, which I'm interested in full-time job and maybe an on-campus job. I made this up. Uh, I'm not looking for an on-campus job because I already have a, a full-time job, of course. If you're interested in particular cities, all right, I'm only interested in Dayton Beach, but if you're interested in Los Angeles, you could do that. If you want to go maybe to Topeka, Kansas, that works too. If you're looking for maybe a smaller niche area, for example, my hometown of Pompano Beach, you could do that too. You can add different cities wherever they, they are, wherever uh, you would like to, to work at. All right. What kind of roles are you looking for? All right. Are you looking to be a CFO, a chief financial officer? Are you looking to be a chief executive officer? You can search by that. Industries. I'm only interested in higher education. Uh, maybe you're interested in aerospace. Great. Awesome. If you're interested in aviation, sorry, aviation is not one of them. That's okay. Maybe let's do engineering. Civil engineering. Very good. That pulls up as well. Once again, um, please work with your program manager uh, if you do have questions about your job, your, your interests in general. All right. So let's move into the work volunteer experience. You're going to see I, I was able to pull up all these through my resume, um, but you do want to have them format some way. Please either add dashes or bullet points, uh, make them stand out somehow. Um, and I was able to add the different uh, times I was a part of each of them. All right. So let's say um, I want to edit this one. Uh, you could edit your job title, who you're employed by, when did you start, your end time, location, the city and state you worked, and of course a description of where you worked. So you can format however you like, uh, no bullet points, or have a dash, um, or no dash or no bullet point, as long as you make it consistent and it's easy to read and great formatting, all right? That's an example of putting one work experience. Personal information, I won't go into that too, too much. Uh, feel free to edit that if you ever do see that something is incorrect on your personal information. You can also discover more students. For example, if you are an aviation maintenance science student, a, AMS student, you can look for other AMS students through the Handshake Network. It's across all universities that use Handshake. There are, are hundreds of thousands of students who, who are on Handshake or who have been pulled into Handshake because maybe their university uses Handshake. Uh, there are more than 700 to 800 colleges and universities across the whole nation and possibly some in the world as well that use Handshake as a platform. So you could discover other students like yourself. Uh, I was a journalism major when I was an undergrad uh, at my alma mater. That's why I see journalism here. All right. I'm going to go into the skill section. Uh, for uh, whenever you do have a, a skills section in your resume, if you opted to upload your resume and have your handshake profile be built through there, it's going to pull up the skills that you have it under that section. So for example, I have these under a career competency section. So they pulled up skills such as PeopleSoft, PowerPoint, Publisher, public speaking. All right. So uh, you're able to see those skills right here because I, I built it 
I built my profile from my resume with the, with the help of my resume. You can also add more skills too. Say for example, if you are versed in SEO, maybe that could be a skill. Search engine optimization, I just added that right there. Um, that could be a skill that you can add as well. If you are great at presentations, you could also add that as well. And it's gonna pop up. It's gonna pop up somewhere in the word bubble and the skills bubble, all right? I'm gonna take another few seconds uh, for you all to ask questions into the chat. Very good, very good. Um, I'm gonna be, I, 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 ha, I do have the chat open. Feel free to type it as I go. No worries, I do check up on chat. I wanna make sure everyone is, is knowledgeable uh, about this information because uh, employers are, are definitely, or at least uh, they are looking at profiles uh, during the virtual career fair. Yes, so one student asks, how will the, oh, one student asks, what skills are employers looking for? That's a great question. It really depends on the employer. It depends on uh, the company that you are looking for. Um, the general ones that are uh, that we do focus on are the ego elevate those career readiness competencies, and they include leadership, digital fluency, uh, communication, collaboration, um, and then at least four other ones that I, I do need to. Okay, I'll just read off of here: professionalism, career preparation. Uh, critical thinking as well. And then communication and global fluency should be the ones I did not list. Uh, but those are the ones that employers generally look for when it comes to the resume, the profile, uh, when you're speaking to them either virtually or in person um, at a career fair. Um, and I also want to mention that when you are applying to different positions, uh, just to bookmark them, save them somehow, whether it be through an Excel sheet, uh, through your internet browser, um, usually they'll have bullet points, uh, require communication skills, require interpersonal uh, collaboration skills, must have student be well-versed in SOLIDWORKS, CATIA, uh, Microsoft Excel. Uh, definitely those skills are uh, very much needed by the employer. Once again, it does depend, um, but those are roughly some of the skills that employers are looking for. How will virtual career fair work? We're gonna have another workshop about this in the coming weeks. It's gonna be online through Handshake. Employers are setting up group sessions, 30 minutes long, up to uh, 50 students at a time, and they also allow for one-on-one, -on -one, 10-minute interactions with students. You can show your webcam, you can show your, yourself to the employer, they can see, uh, you can see them, of course, uh, you, they can hear you, well, sorry, uh, you can hear them, um, and you can also t uh, type into the chat, or you can use your microphone as well. Uh, but more information will be sent to you all in the coming weeks. We're gonna stagger registration for our expo. Um, more so end of this month, the September 28th through October 1st. Um, it's very, it's gonna be very similar to class registration where uh, graduating seniors will be uh, able to register first and then uh, the rest of uh, the campus students will be able to register and the last day will be all of Embry-Riddle will be able to register. Will the whole profile be available to employers? Do they see a shortened ver version? Your profile is visible to employers as long as you allow it to. I'm gonna scroll back up, all right? Over here, where it says, your profile is visible to employers, students, and alumni, right? You can toggle that, all right? You can toggle that through settings. This can be changed anytime in settings. Um, so that way, if you don't want them to see your profile, it's gonna be a, a very much con condensed version. It's probably only gonna see, uh, for them, they can only see your name in a couple of sections. It's not gonna be, uh, they can't see everything like I'm showing you now. Where do employers look for the most in the handshake profile? That's a great question. I'll say mainly for your experiences in terms of, um, in terms of the work and volunteer experience sections, your skills, I will say as well, that's very important. And then organizations and extracurriculars. They do consider courses and projects as well, but mainly please focus on 
these three sections, work and volunteer experience, skills, as well as organizations and extracurriculars. So registration for graduating senior starts on September 28th. That is correct. That is correct. Please be on the lookout for our Sunday night weekly emails. Very good. Wow, oh, awesome. Moving forward, we're moving to the last few sections. As you can see, uh, this is where you can update your, your resume, upload a, a cover letter as well, upload a transcript if you want to. I have uploaded two resumes so far. I made it so I have two organizations on here. You can edit them if you want, have your position title, have your organization, have when you started as well. Um, and also please definitely put in a description of, of what you've done, your impact, your contributions as well. You can also add in courses. So I added two random courses. I made these two up for uh, the purpose of this webinar. You can add a course. Um, if you are you if you are taking statics this semester or if you have taken status statics for example you could definitely great this is part of the drop down box menu you can add that and then add in the course number maybe it's es202 um, and if you also were a ta or a course reader for uh, the class you can also check that box it's gonna be different it's gonna be labeled different it's gonna say ta um, employers are able to see it as well. If you were not a TA or a course reader, right, you don't have to do that. It's gonna show up like this for the label, for this, this icon. And lastly, projects. Yes, please definitely add in projects for your section. Um, excuse me. So it really, once again, I do wanna kind of go back to my original statement on when or, or, or what sections employers look for the most on the handshake profile. Uh, for engineering students, especially the aerospace engineering students that I advise, uh, employers do look at projects. They look at projects, not just, uh, it doesn't have to be only class projects, academic projects. It could be projects, for example, maybe you've worked on your car since you were 11 or 12, or you built a computer by yourself. Um, those count as projects as well. So I recommend for you to add those. Um, so once again, this is actually a pretty critical section to have, uh, especially if students do not quite have the relevant work experience, that internship experience just yet. Employers, especially for engineering students, they do look at projects. Uh, that way uh, they see what you're working on in your classes, you're applying that knowledge, you're applying that course material through hands-on uh, projects. And I cannot harp on that enough. And that's the end of this webinar. I'm going to stop recording.